it's Victoria Rose here, your friendly explorer girl. Today's a why 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 can't I do an introduction to save my life? Oh, I've been doing this for years. Why can't I vlog yet? Socially, I can't think fast enough and talk fast enough to be efficient in communication. Today is a crazy adventure and I'm really excited to show it to you. Before we go explore the ruins of time and life, I want to show you a little triad haul of some stuff that I got from Oasis Joy. Links below to them. They kind of sponsored this video, so. I went out of my comfort zone and I tried, I, I got a couple dresses, but I'll probably show you one. I don't know how to dress up. I don't. Maybe you guys can help me in the comments what would suit me, but I have no idea. So comment below your favorite outfit that I got, and then we're gonna get into a crazy adventure. Make sure you subscribe and like. Like it, please like it. Okay, let's do this. Gym wear, bathing suit, and a dress. Even though I got several, and um, I got this bathing suit. This bathing suit cover, this bathing suit, this red dress that, like, where am I gonna wear this? I really just wanted to try something new and try something different and be like, hey, I can dress up. <sighs> but for real, I don't know if I can. <laughs> there. And then this is my favorite thing, actually, of course. It's, um, it's gym wear, but also it could, like, it could also pair as, like, futuristic kind of wear. This is, um, the sports wear. But it's also like super comfortable to where you could like do whatever you want. Like you could just wear it. It um, has cool. I'm paired with some cool combat boots. What do you guys think? This one's my favorite. Okay, so this next one's a little bit more not modest. So I'm gonna kind of try and show it to you, but not too much because I really like it. It looks really cool, but it's not something that I would wear out and about because it's a little immodest but it looks really cool and sexy maybe so this i really like this one because it has like a buckle i like the fit of the bottom too this is kind of one that shows like the under boob type of look it's pretty i really like it and then this is the cover this is the red dress i put some platforms on because i don't have heels <laughs> obviously so i'll show you this i have no reason to ever wear this Time back. A little shuffle in it. <laughs> I'm actually a trained assassin. I just came to this party and dressed up all nice, but really, behind the scenes, I'm a spy. Yeah, that's what I think of when I think of red dresses. Just a, a, a spy in disguise. <laughs> you ready for an adventure? Then keep watching. And two girls explore bomb factories and get stalked and scared and, and lost in the swamp. Yeah, this is all real. <laughs> all right, let's get into it. Today's adventure theme is abandoned factories and our first destination is an old TNT factory. <laughs> Such a random place. Who, who, how do you even find this? It's, it's, on like a back a, road. it's on a dead end road, but I don't think it's all abandoned. I guess we go down here. Oh, it's like, it's like weird. We had the coordinates from a friend to find the factory. It says it's right here. But it wasn't where it said it was supposed to be. So we decided to do what we meant to do and explore on foot. Ooh. It's all abandoned too. After the end of World War II, there wasn't as much a need for TNT. So that shut down this 22 square mile industrial reserve. It was a war baby and it was conceived because of the war. So right after the war ended, it completely almost shut down. 1,650 workers almost all had to be laid off after that. At one time, the largest manufacturer of TNT in the county, it now lays completely abandoned and debilitated. Debilitated? Is that how you say debil debilitated? <laughs> Even though it was more of a factory industrial feel, I still really appreciate the aesthetics of abandoned factories. I think they're just so cool and it's really fun to kind of step back into history and explore them. I mean, can you imagine the cool like video and photo shoots you could do in places like this? Ooh, whoa! This look at all those windows. This is so cool. This is cool. I like this one. Yes. I just fell through there. Oh, I was standing on top of that. That's like. There's something about exploring abandoned places that just makes you feel a bit more present and alive.
This looks like a dangerous one. This is like a whole abandoned, just like, town of factories and, like it's hidden, but it's so big. Like it's a, such a big area. Whoa, Lauren, this is the best one. This was the third plant that we found and it was the coolest. It had like water running through it. It had a lot of poison ivy, but it was so cool and almost magical. I actually don't think I get poison ivy. Let me know in the comments if you get it. Don't get poison ivy. <laughs> So this is this is a swamp, and it smells weird. Ew. Ugh. Maybe we should have gone the other way. It's, <laughs> I think we should go the other way. Like now. <laughs> She's stuck. We can't get through there. It's marshland. Oh my god. Oh, 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 hold on. It went black. Our exploring was kind of cut short because there was a huge marshy swamp area that we couldn't get past in order to get to the other factories, but I feel like they probably all looked pretty similar. Our next destination is in Erie, Pennsylvania, and it is an abandoned random rabbit. <laughs> former paper factory. Oh, Don't mind if I just cart this away. Not even a flat screen. <laughs> That's busy. Our particular mint right now is I think we're around the projects area, and there's a lot of people out, so we don't want to, like people to see us getting in. But it's really hard to get in without being seen, unless we could like squeeze I don't think so. Like us climbing a fence with definitely. With bob wire. Okay. Yeah, like, okay, so this is all fenced off. Now we have to like walk up there again. Wait for them to be done with their picnic. <laughs> Wanna get in here, and it's so easy. You can just to walk into it. But there's people all outside just staring hardcore. Of course they're gonna stare at me. Exploring and finding new places is not always easy. It's not a walk in the park or a picnic in the backyard. So, wow, I look ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, I would stare at me too, okay? <laughs> very oh, sketchy, no. <laughs> very, very sketchy area. <laughs> and the reason that half of this building has been broken down is because there's arson that set it aflame, Vandal people who vandalized it. So they had to tear most of it down, but there's still a whole section up. Right, we have to crouch at this point. This building was pretty much right in Erie, the Rust Belt, and it was around quite a few people, not in the middle of nowhere. Oh, on your shoulder, on your shoulder. Oh. Parkour. Which meant getting in was a little more stressful. All right, we're in. What is that work of art? This is cool. The paper company was built in 1874, but was partially demolished in 2016 due to arson. But it's very a very structurally sound building. Do you think this is sturdy? I'm sure eventually the entire building will be demolished. Look at this. It really needs to be part of a zombie film though, just saying. So even though it is not out in the middle of nowhere, when you're in the building, it feels like a whole different world. And since it's in a bad area and so easy to get into, it's, you kind of have to watch your back. And yeah, we should have watched her back a little better. What is that? Someone was in the building with us.
I apologize for my crazy focus, but I was trying to capture the moment as it happened, and I was trying to get the guy underneath there. This is why if you ever explore or adventure, always, always, always have a partner with you. downstairs flooring. And now we're up here. I think he left, but I casually just said hi to get to his attention. <laughs> it's terrifying. It's just it's so sketchy. The weird part about it is we didn't hear him come. Yeah, he was super cool. After the unexpected pretty creepy visitor kind of ruined the vibe and we just kind of wanted to get out of there. Let's get some pictures before we get raped. Hurry, <laughs> we must get this picture before the raping. This is like where this is where zom this is like I am legend where the zombies hide. Yeah. Alright, we're finally out. We're making it to the street now. That was an adventure. No confrontation. Well, not too much, but uh that was that was really scary. Because it's so unexpected. Yes, and it was so like it's so dark and drippy and like very doomy in there. Like something bad has to happen while you're in there. That's For what sure. it feels like. This is the last place you'd think for someone to come up and be like, "Hey, what's up?" Because it's like it's so dark and dingy really and dark. scary. Like he was, um, I'm pretty sure he was probably on some types of drugs. So. Anyways, stay safe out there guys. I hope you enjoyed these crazy adventures today. I have more coming up, so stay tuned, leave a like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you in the next video.